I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Good morning from Citral. This is our hotel, the Taurus Inn. We stayed in Citral for two nights. I'm just recovering from food poison. I think I have my energy back and we plan on going to Collage. Collage is about one hour and a half from this location. And um, we're just waiting for a driver. But the population of pack, the, the population in Collage is only around 4,000, making them one of the smallest ethnic minorities in Pakistan so hopefully the hospitality is nice and really looking forward to it plus supposedly the culture is a lot different in Collage from Citral Citral oh, Citral sorry <laughs> keep trying to pronounce that but it's it's not too far away and the culture changes so much Leaving Chitral behind and making our way to Kailash was quite fascinating. We loved the scenery with the mountains. It can be tricky to get to Kailash as there's no real streets. The roads are in very bad conditions and it can be very dangerous, especially when it's raining. The rocks can fall on the road. You definitely need around 2 hours for 30 kilometers from Chitral to Kailash. Our friend Jakeep drove a 4x4 which was very helpful on these roads. We recommend coming in summer months as it was very cold when we explored the region, well at least for me, not so much for Glenn. Also, the Kailash people have many festivals which you should check out. There's a big one from 13 to 16 of May, but you need to make sure to book your stay in advance as it's very popular. Welcome to Kailash, with a civilization of 2,700 people. Tell us about the road. Well, the roads are pretty hectic, quite bumpy. I've never actually experienced a road like this before in my life, but I always wanted to experience something like that. I think the civilization is quite um, isolated here. Yeah. So, their own culture, their own religion as well, and they dress different. Yeah, it's quite different from uh, the culture outside of Kailash village. So they don't have the Islam here as the religion, so people look quite different. Um, yeah. So I hope we can meet some people later. Yeah, we want to meet some local people now. And talk to them and Experience learn about the their culture, yeah. yeah. Hopefully they speak a bit of English. <laughs> we'll see. So it's called the Kalaj uh, religion. And they also, they drink wine. And when someone dies, they keep the dead body on the bed for three or four days and they dance around the, the corpse to say their goodbyes to say their goodbyes in a happy way happy manner oh. I want when I die I want people to dance around me <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a joyful experience but do they consider themselves Pakistani or do they have no, no, just they their are, own they are Pakistani okay, okay. So we're right on the Afghan border as well, which isn't too far away from here. It's like Asia. Huh? The outfits are like Asian to me. Oh, we are in Asia, Central oh, Asia. I mean, like like j j Japanese or something. Sheepies. Sheepies on the roof. Okay, I think we're going into a local place's home now. A local person's, person is home. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, how are you? We're good. Oh wow. Oh, this, is, this is the outfit. Oh. Wow, very nice. Oh, it's very hot in here. 
Oh, so warm. These are made from animal leather, yeah? yeah. Like a sauna in here. Freeze yeah. yeah. outside. <laughs> What's this? Put this on the head? Yeah. Oh wow. So this beautiful. One. This one. And these are the jewelries. This is the jewelry they make. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that's their, their oven, huh? Yeah. And then they, they cook. Yeah. And the heat, you know, reduces the heat for the whole kind of place. And that's um, really good to museums see them. In Europe, you kind of see that back in the days, they lived the same way. They had their like, living room in the kitchen in the same way. So they could, you know, warm themselves when it was cold outside. So. Oh, yeah. So lots. Oh wow, okay. Very nice. They have everything, they make everything yeah. in So everything is produced the whole year round, harvest. And then they try it and so they have like their food for the winter. Wow. It's breaking the wall so. Mm. And other things. You know, their dress and the mm. head, they make them and sell to other people, okay, okay. other tourists. So they make money. But it's hard work. Yeah, it's very really hard. The women are very hard work. Yeah. So the men relax? The men always relax? Yeah, they relax. It's the other they way. They work a little bit. Work. It's the opposite to what uh, yeah. Europe strong. is like. They're strong. Yeah, very strong women. Yeah. But is she still happy? Is she yeah, still happy she happy the warriors. They're always happy. Keep smiling on their face. Kalash people are warriors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Her husband is in the coma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She slept from the mountain. And what is her husband? Uh, in coma. Coma? Yeah. Coma? Yeah, she slept from the mountain. He fell from the mountain? Yeah. Oh, oh my no. god! Yeah. Is he in, in a coma now? Yeah, Where he's is he disabled, now? like disabled person. Okay, so he's not in a coma, he's... Yeah. Okay. Disabled, but yes. Disabled, yeah. okay. Coma is when he's like, yeah. kind of sleep, you know? A yeah. coma is when they're... She, he doesn't, doesn't wake up. Oh, he's still not waking up? No, no, no. Is he here in the village or in the hospital? He's at the hospital, no, he's in the other house. Oh, okay. Uh, no, How long? No, no, it is. How long is he in a coma? Kandurubha Sariya. Six years. Is that hard for him? Six years? Yeah, yeah. Six years. Yeah. 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 Six years? Yeah. yeah. It's hard for her. Huh? That's why she's working all day. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Make some clothes, make some wine, yeah. and sell it to people and make money yeah. for their house. Oh my god. Yeah. What's this? Which one is what? This one is grapes one, and this one is that one. Okay, it looks like water. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Trying some uh, <laughs> a local wine from the Kalaj region or the Kalaj people. Okay, need to try this out. Oh, it smells fruity, it smells nice. Uh, yeah. Wow, oh, that's strong. It's strong. 
Yeah. Stronger wine, yeah? Strong. It's like drinking uh, whiskey. Yeah. I, 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 I'm not sure if I would consider that as wine. It would maybe more like um, as some whiskey with juice or so. That's what it tastes. It's strong. It's like mm. drinking a shot of whiskey. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me try yours. Okay, let's try it. Whoa, whoa! I never this seen wine. I never seen wine this color though. This actually smells like schnapps. <laughs> German schnapps. It's a liquor in German Germany. That's definitely like schnapps. The oh, it's not too bad. So this one here is, it definitely tastes like our oh, German schnapps, like I think the, the white drunk after this, no? yeah, yeah. Oh it's yeah, you. Do you know yeah. the you know the percentage? You know how much percent of the percent alcohol? of alcohol? I don't know really. No, we don't really. a lot. Because wine is usually <laughs> like 11 12 percent. Mm -hmm. This is probably like yeah. this is a, twenty. This, this is liquor for sure. It's a pure wine. Pure, pure wine. Pure. The healthiest of the healthiest. Pure. No pure. preservatives. No toxins. Pure, pure natural. And organic, I can imagine. Organic, yes. Yeah. Organic, yeah. everything organic. You look like you're from the tribe now. The Kalash tribe. Now we have the yeah, she gave me that. She made that handmade. Banana. Uh, <laughs> Banana. Uh, what are you doing here? We found some 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 goats. Should I know? Hello, my friend. Ah, he's saying hello. Look. Ah, look. He's giving me his paw. He's licking me. He's li that, they're not afraid of me. Ah! What are you eating me for? Say hello again. He's nibbling on my hand. Say hello to him. Hello. The give the hand. Hurry. Ah! <laughs> Looking at the local kids playing cricket. They all play cricket. Eh? Playing cricket here up in there. Snow polo. Snow polo. Completely different game. <laughs> We're playing polo without the horses, yeah. yeah. We call it in English, I don't understand. Break it, yeah. I understand. I'm not sure what's going on. Can I play? Can I play? Can I try? Yeah. You speak English? Yes. Ah, friend. Okay, okay. You're gonna let me join in. <laughs> Hello. That's a catch. Mashallah. Whoa. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Good, okay. Uh, entertain. I mean, there's not much else to do, so they need to get entertained somehow. So they entertain themselves by playing polo, by hitting balls across the river. Sure, why not? <laughs> So we're going into another little village of local tribe people. Oh wow, look at this. Look at the houses. Look so old. Wow. I can see that. Looks so beautiful.
Go, go, go. Okay, it's all the local kids playing the polo behind me. And then we're going into uh, another person's house, another local's tribe person's house. Nobody's home. Nobody's home. This is where they live. Okay. These are the living quarters, yeah? Okay. They're not home at the moment, so. Mm. Wow, very nice. Us, like, I think it's hard to imagine that people still live in that conditions. Yeah. And they're it's so like happy and all. It's like going back in time. Yeah, for us, it's like traveling back in time. <sighs> Hello. Hello, Vinya. Huh? What's the word? Come on, get in. Oh, she's home. Yeah. She let us in, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Okay. It's fine. I want to talk about it. Spata. 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 Oh, someone is sleeping. Oh, someone is sleeping. Wow. Hey, what does she do to support herself? Uh, no working there. Yeah. Oh, no working, okay. Shvata. 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 Hello. I don't know if I'm not going to be a farmer. I'm just going to be a farmer. Farm people. Farmers, yeah. Mohamed <laughs> Noor. His name is Mohamed Noor. Mohamed? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Okay. How many kids do they have? Kandriya is here. Two sons. Two sons, okay. Nice. He also, he also doesn't work in the winter. No. So man doesn't work at all. He doesn't do anything. In summer you work in hotel. Okay, okay. Oh. It's a gift for you. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh. Give you a present. Yeah, the belt. But it's a nice. Belt, it's a belt. Yeah. It's a belt, yeah. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, I think it's hard to live. They are very happy to live here. Yeah, they like it. The government disallow them to broke this house. Yeah. They give them 90 lakh something. Yeah. To from buy it. What's 90 lakh? 90 lakh rupees. So you mean 90,000? 90,000, no, no, no. 90 rupees? To build that or to live? No, 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 to buy it, this house. Yeah, so they Because these there. are very old houses. Okay, okay. One is here and the other one is closed. Oh, wow, okay. The nuts? Yeah. Nuts are very popular yeah, around here. Yeah. Do they grow everything like during the summer and they harvest that and keep that for the winter or how does? No, no, no. Or they no. also get something no, from no. Chitral from the. Uh, in the past, they also store these time things, yeah. but now no. Not anymore. Not anymore. You don't need to. Like back in the days, they, you know, more farming, and now because like more tourists coming, they're making more money, money with that. And yeah. Okay. It's mostly Pakistan. Uh, uh, foreigners, uh, tourists, tourists. Yeah, north. Yeah. yeah. North of Pakistan. Okay. Coming a lot. Yeah. Right. But right. You, they don't have a lot of like foreign people, like from, or sometimes. Sometimes no, they are coming. Every coming few days. Yeah. Every few days. But because of COVID right. situation, mm -hmm. it's difficult. Don't. Yeah. So they had like a lot of foreign tourists. Yeah, yeah? in Chitral, in Chitral, in Gilgit, Chitral, Sabar. So it's just because of COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are not. Ah, COVID. Yeah. Only Chitrali people are allowed in the lockdown. Okay. And down the street people um, don't allow. Right, I understand. Okay. Please checkpoints. Okay. So it was fine for them. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This the house is they say the spiritual house. His father, after the death of his father, she came to a person dream, and told that person that you save this house, don't sell it. 
and this is because of spiritual needs. Okay. Yeah. When a woman delivers a child, they don't allow five months to come back to this house. Five months? Yeah, five months. And why is that? Because of the, the rules, speciality of the rules, house? Uh, the rules of this house. Okay. Because okay. this house is very old. Okay. What? What? I don't know why it says one bear on that wall up there. One bear. Okay. So, we just had a little talk or meeting with the local people in their home. Um, the home was, the house was around 120 years old and they still live in it. Live in it. Well, live in the home. Like, just like the old times. Now we're going to a little farm over here to talk to to some talk to some animals. So they don't allow women to go to the animals. So I was looking forward to pet them. Ah, uh, you can go there. Man, you can go there. I'm gonna go into the goats. Let's go again. What's that here? This jam. I don't think that's it. Come on. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Cute, so I'm not allowed to go in the stall, but they brought a little sheep out. Aww. Oh, so cute. Yeah, women aren't allowed into the, the stall where the sheep are. He thinks they're mad that I because they don't do it's a religious thing. You know? They don't pet sheep. Yeah. No, they don't pet sheep, it's not normal so he here. That's funny, no? We think it's adorable. <laughs> the, he looks like, what am I doing? Eh? Well, what's this Ma! woman doing? What Ma! <laughs> So we just had some delicious food and now we're just walking to a dancing ceremony. Ceremony. Okay. We have the beautiful mountains in the background. Going for a random walk here. Yes. We have some beautiful food, some chai, in a cozy hot room. Hey! Sorry? Spata! Spata! <laughs> Basically, from the 13th to the 16th of May, they have all over the villages. Yeah, yeah, come here. Festival. At the end, they come here. Okay. End of the festival. They are all they around, come here. They do like music and dancing. Music, dancing, uh, together. They. Kyopa Jens Kunyan. Where is he bringing us? What's it like? Is it good? Yes, good. Is it nice? Yes, very nice. It's a temple? Yes, I pray for God for here. Okay, okay, I understand. Let's pray. Let's check out this temple from the local collage village. Oh, it's very slippy, my friend. It's not very safe. <laughs> I'm just in the runners. These guys are wearing boots. I wasn't expecting snowy weather. I didn't realize in the past uh, people needed security with them at all times. If you're a foreign person, you need security back in 2016. Um, but they stopped after 2016. They would give you an armed guard at all times to go around with you, which is very interesting. Okay, we're at the this, this temple where this place okay you pray here okay hopefully not on the ground it's all wet you sit here you sit here okay you cut the goats here in the temple poor goats <laughs> I understand, but okay. Yeah, they sacrifice goats here. Sacrifice, yeah, yeah. For God. And the blood of the goats is here. A little bit. But they throw yeah, yeah. the goats' blood yeah, yeah, yeah. on this wall? Yeah, yeah. Look, look, there is a... Okay. Wait, there's goats' blood here? Yeah. Where? Where's the blood? Yes, look. Oh, here I see blood. Yeah, I understand, this. okay. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting way of doing things. Yeah. I've never heard of these type of <laughs> traditions before. Yeah. No, yeah, I heard before the day. I know they kill sacrifice yeah. goats, but 
the way they put the blood on the wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's definitely more new. Like Village Festival, 13 to 16 of May. Yeah. yeah. Where they party and have a good time, drink some wine. The whole Kilash village is booked out, so book in advance. Yeah, the whole Kilash village is always booked out. They drink wine in this region. And then if you go outside the region, you can't bring the wine with you. It's not allowed. Death ceremony. Death ceremony. Yeah. Okay. This is a funeral. Yeah. yeah. Funeral inside, home. Inside. Yeah. Inside. Okay. When a person is dead, they put their in <gasps> bed and dance all around. Okay. For two days. Dance around the dead body for two days. Oh God. That must be exhausting. Yeah, and eat food. Ah, okay. And sacrifice sheep, cows. Oh wow, yeah. that's an interesting way to die. Yeah. So this house is three hundred years old. Yeah. Oh wow. Oldest house. Oldest house. house and collage. Ah, hello. Spata. Okay, we're entering the oldest house in Kalaj. 300, no? Yeah, 300. Okay. I was like, what? Really? Oh, it's very hot. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good. Okay, nice and dark. Oh. He looks European as well. Yeah. <laughs> Speak English? Yeah, he looked like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak English? English ancestors. Yeah. Ah, okay, very nice. Yeah, thank you. Do you have English ancestors? But sometimes I. <laughs> Little bit, okay. Yeah, shy. No problem. Yeah, shy. Ah, it's okay, yeah. no problem. Family, pura family. Yeah, family. Four people. Four people live here, okay. They owned it since generations. The whole generation. Yeah, the whole family. This place went through a lot of generations, okay. Yeah. I mean, it is 300 years old. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of ancestors. Wow. A lot of history. A lot of history. Does he. Uh, would he know all of his, all of his hi history from the past? He would. Like a, a pura, a we, we are class people living uh, around this village 3,000 years ago. They say that before they are living here yeah. and after that the injured soldier come here uh -huh. and, and they stay, stay here. here yeah. okay. And they, come, they join the yeah, community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why yeah, people yeah, yeah. Uh, look. Some, uh. people, some people say no, this is a generation of Sikandar Azam soldier. But right. the people of Kailash, they don't believe in that. Hello. Shpata. Shpata. Four people, one father and mother, four people of them. Okay, nice. Wow. It's amazing. And he is he going to school or what is he doing? School, college, yeah, yeah, school. Yeah, school. He's in degree college, Chatral. Okay. But now because. Yes. Yes, subject computer science. He's also my subject, computer science. Yeah, yeah. but like now he's here because of the winter the holidays. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. Good. So he goes back. Nice. Yeah. It's so yeah. small, man. Yes. This is your storage? Yes, yes. It's okay, I need light inside. Yes. Okay, this is their storage place where they store the food. Yes, yes. It seems like they have a lot of storage containers. Yes. Lots of nuts and dry fruits and everything else. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, hello from the moon. That's what it's called, actually, the area. <laughs> because it's very high in the sky, and uh, we got this. We met this guy Said through couch surfing, and it's very random. But we're at his home now, and it's very high in the sky. We came from Kalish. Um, a collage. <laughs> sorry. After two hours of driving on bumpy roads and wow, it's been a journey. The most wild roads I've ever experienced <laughs> in my life, really. But it's definitely worth it. Check out Kalash. Kalash. Yeah. There's a lot of tribal people there. It's like an it's isolated amazing. civilization. So amazing. We had such a great day, and now, like, we thought we arrived, and then we, like, our new friend, like, from Couchsurfing, he picked us up, and like, we drove all the way to the mountain, to the moon, to his village. It's called and the moon because it's very high. Yeah. 
and the mount the road is very high it was like like circles all the way up or loops or whatever you call it yeah and then we had to walk 10 minutes too like without backpack feel like i'm really high in the mountains like, now what an adventure yeah now i just <laughs> want to see tomorrow what it looks yeah. like from this viewpoint the mule yeah. the moon now we're chilling out in the living room in the guest room i think with we have all the lads here the guys, guys say, the hello, say hello say hello <laughs> with some nice fire. Yeah. They all have the, this, this ovens. I want one of these ovens. Yeah, we need to get one of these ovens in the future. Yeah. It's very cozy. Yeah, it's so nice. Cozy atmosphere. Mm. I like it very much. <laughs> so I think we're just gonna. I don't know what we're I doing. I don't know. Maybe they bring more dinner. I we think they're preparing food. He said. We, ha we we'll ate see. lots of food we'll today. See. And then True. A lot of nice hospitality today. Yeah. It's been so Look at this. It's unbelievable what the world has to offer thanks for watching please like and subscribe for future content <laughs>